एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड आई एम डॉक्टर अनमोल भाटिया वे आर कवरिंग द कोर्स अप्लाइड थर्मोडाइनमिक्स and the topic of this video is air dynamics or you can say the compressible flows if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by edstorm publishing link is provided in the description box so we are covering compressible flows in this video and uh, first and foremost let us understand uh, the process of compressible flow or how do we define this compressible flow so compressible flow is again uh, you know it is also called as the gas dynamics and uh, it is basically a branch of this fluid mechanics that basically deals with the flow which are having specific changes in the density we'll be dealing with certain uh, significant characterizations of the fluid which changes their density so gas dynamics as per certain definitions if i say that it is a study of motion of gases and their effect on the physical systems or the another definition says that it's it is based on the principle of fluid mechanics and thermodynamics or you can say that uh, gases that are flowing around or within the physical objects at a particular speed are compared to the speed of the sound so we have certain categorization of ga the gas dynamics but it leads to study of the nature of the gases uh, in terms of the fluid mechanics and in terms of the thermodynamics aspect so uh, we'll look at certain application areas and i have segregated those application areas in terms of classical application areas and the modern application areas so if i talk about the classical application areas so uh, you know that uh, one of the application is the treatment of that uh, perfect gas or you can say that uh, to provide the exact solution of uh, inviscid flow in the one dimension or you can say the shock ex expansion theory for the steady state in case of a 2d flow or uh, the linearized or you can say the generalized equation formation for the closed form of 2d and 3d systems if i talk about the modern application so you might have heard about the term which is cfd so cfd can also be applicable to this particular uh, concept is applicable with cfd or uh, complex geometry situations is one of the another example or you can say that com complex flow features are there in which you have certain shocks or expansion waves or you can say when this uh, contact is there and that discontinues there are certain viscous effect or you can say the turbulence modeling or high temperature effects are there and equilibrium and non equilibrium reactions when we want to proceed as per that particular application we can do that application areas if i talk uh, in terms of certain examples so those examples include certain turbo machineries like gas turbines or those aero engines that can be turbo fans or turbo propellers or you can say the aero acoustics which which includes the flow induced noise such as jets or wakes or you can say the moving surfaces or the sound propagation uh thirdly there are certain external flows that means the flow which we want to analyze for the aircraft airplanes or the space launchers which can be rockets or the internal flows such as nozzle flow or you can say the inlet flow or another uh, case should be the free shear flows let's say for the case of uh, the high speed jets then it is also applicable in terms of combustion aspects like if we want to look at the aspect of the internal combustion engine uh that can be the valve flow or the in cylinder flow or the exhaust flow pipes or the mufflers that we want to check as per the categorization of the internal combustion engine additionally if we want to look at the induced noise of the engine 
like uh, if you want to uh, look at the aspect of the turbulence which would be there so that can be the case because of the combustion and uh, if there are instabilities in combustion that can be taken care of so one of the application area is the stirling engine that you can see with the help of this diagrammatic mechanism uh, diagrammatic explanation in which uh, you can see that there are cylinders and uh, they are particularly responsible for compressing so one case is the compression cylinder another is the expansion cylinder so there are two cylinders which are there and uh, this is the comp compression passage and then a gas cooler is also there a regenerator is there uh, a feed tube and then you have the manifolds there and it particularly heats the gas inside and uh, we feed in the tube from the particular chamber and ultimately the gas expands so this is one of the application areas of uh, and the same there is another application area of the point of study that is the case of airbus a380 if we want to analyze it uh, then that can be possibly done through the same now if uh, we talk about the historical milestones of uh, the same then we have to look at uh, the case of 1893 when d level uh, who invented the first steam turbine with the supersonic nozzles and uh, the usage was of the convergent divergent nozzles for uh, the case of convergent divergent nozzle we have already prepared a video and if you haven't no watched that video you can visit the playlist of s chand academy channel uh, at this significant time the uh, this particular significance is not fully understood but it worked it this particular uh, case worked so this is one of the categorization in which the da, da, d level in engine or the, the steam turbine worked so this is the da level engine of 1893 we stop here for a short break after coming back from the break we will explore more uh, about the details now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep s chand academy brings detailed lectures based on aicte curriculum as per the new education policy 2020 so do not forget to subscribe to the s chand academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S. Chand Academy. Happy learning! Welcome back to S. Chand Academy and we are learning the com uh, compressible flows in applied thermodynamics. The topic of this part of the video is compressibility. I will be understanding compressibility uh, in detail. So let us come to the topic straight away. What is compressibility and what are the two different cases in uh, understanding the compressibility. So basically there are two fundamental cases. One is the constant temperature. Another is the adiabatic process. So in case of the constant temperature process, the heat uh, that is there to uh, keep the temperature constant inside the cylinder and uh, the piston is moved slowly so this is one of the case constantly we are keeping the temperature as the same and adiabatic process uh, basically uh, it creates thermal in insulation which is uh, inside the cylinder and it do not allow any heat exchange so adiabatic process is that type of category in which there is no heat exchange so the piston moves fairly or you can say rapidly with the negligible flow losses. So this, these two particular aspects are primarily related to compressibility. Then you have uh, the case of this isothermal process in which uh, if we want to check uh, the temperatures, so that would be having this particular relationship one by V, uh, partial derivative of V with respect to p and this you can see that temperature value is constant because this is an isothermal process and if it is an isentropic process then we'll calculate this temperature for this isentropic process the same uh, formula is there but it is for the entropy constant values there are certain 
uh, normal conditions which we may use for the numerical aspect. So if this value of uh, P or the pressure we change with the amount, then the change in the pressure over the characteristic length of the flow and that would be corresponding to the density and here in this uh, change in this density is particularly related to the temperature conditions. So the pressure becomes too long uh, or you can say the too larger value and uh, this if I talk about compressible flow then this ratio should be more than 0 0.05. Uh, so Bernoulli's equation is restricted to the incompressible flow and that Bernoulli's equation is not applicable for the compressible flows. And uh, there is one of the categorization of aerodynamic forces as well. So the aerodynamic forces are particularly related to the cases in which we have a particle and uh, air is basically moving on it. So you have three different regions. One is this region. Another is D of omega and then you have a normal. So N basically indicates the outward which is facing unit normal vector. So outward facing unit normal vector. This, uh, you know, omega indicates the region occupied by the body. So this is a body and this particularly occupies one region. And D of omega, derivative of omega is, though is that particular surface which is the surface of the body. So you have the surface of the body and this aerodynamic forces may be checked with the help of this compressible flow practice. So uh, one uh, aspect is to check uh, the drag in terms of those aerodynamic forces. So drag is that particular component of the force which is parallel to the free stream direction. So there is this free stream direction and one component which is parallel to the same is called as a drag and uh, this drag is the sum of uh, two components which is dp and df so dp is the drag due to the pressure and df is the drag which is there due to the friction so two components one is the pressure another is the friction so when we look into the two drag values and there would be uh, the summation of those two drag values will get the total of the same. Then we'll have the lift component also. Lift component is basically the normal to the free stream direction. So L equals to LP plus LF. LP here is uh, related to pressure and LF is related to the friction. Wherein this LF is usually negligible. Now, uh, there are certain uh, explanations or certain co-linkages of this aerodynamic forces with the uh, you can say the type of flow be it uh, uh, transonic or you can say the supersonic flow. So for this uh, inviscid flow around uh, a cylinder body which is an attached flow body so this constant value is zero this constant is termed as d and for the supersonic value this constant value is greater than zero explanation is this wave drag let's say that you have this component in which this Mach number is less than one less than or equal to one so after analyzing the situation and when we analyze the situation this uh, Mach number becomes greater than uh, one value so this is particularly called as a wave drag this explanation is particularly called as a wave drag situation now, this wave drag situation is an, a phenomena which is connected to the formation of the uh, compression shocks and uh, here in this entropy value increases. And uh, this uh, viscous effect, if it is there, so it uh, is present in the all regimes of, uh, you know, that Mach number uh, portion. So, here in these two categorization which is supersonic or transonic uh, explanation and they are particularly named as shock waves or you can say the boundary layer interaction. So you might have heard about uh, this particular concept which is boundary layer theory and that uh, boundary layer explanation is particularly used in this uh, concept of aerodynamic flows and uh, this particularly 
needs to uh, trigger flows and that generally leads to the unsteady flow in the same situation. So we come to the end of uh, the video in which we learnt about uh, the compressibility and compressible flows. Thank you. If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by Ed Stone Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. If you found our video interesting, please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.